Welcome friends to another problem solving on lines and angles. I hope you are uh, going through the previous video sessions as well to get a proper understanding of the concepts and different types of problems. So let's solve this problem given in this. Uh, so lines x, y and mn intersect. Okay, so you can see there are two lines x, y and mn, x, y and mn, they intersect at point O. And it's given that P, O, Y, so this angle is 90 degrees. Okay, and A is to B, so this angle is A, and this angle is B here. So A is to B is 2, 2 is to 3, and you have to find out C. Okay, so again, uh, the moment I see 90 degrees and, you know, uh, ray OP stands on line XY, or, you know, uh, so we get a, you know, uh, the first thing which comes to your mind is, you can use linear pair over here. So let's start the solution. Okay, what's given? Let's first write down given. So you have to write that angle P O Y is equal to 90 degrees and A by B is 2 by 3. Why right, this is given? Right now, we don't really mention those which are uh, pretty obvious. For example, um, MN being a line and XY being a line, you can write that too. Okay, so you have to find what C. Okay, so how to find that now? A by B is equal to 2 by 3. This implies, what does it imply? A is equal to 2 upon 3B. Many people start with saying A or calling A as 2X and B as 3X and then solving. You can do that or this. So hence I use this, this method. So A is 2 by 3B because it saves me another variable. Anyways, so now angle POX and angle POY form a linear pair. So angle POX and POY form a linear pair. What does it mean? It means angle POX plus angle POY plus angle POY is 180 degrees. That is what we have learned, right? Now POX can be clearly written as A plus B, isn't it? If you see A plus B gives you POX and POY was 90 degrees, right? So this is equal to 180 degrees. So now what? A plus B is 180 degrees minus 90 degrees is equal to 90 degrees. Okay, now A plus B is 90 degrees. So and we also know that A is 2 by 3B. So put it as 1. So using 1, using 1 in 2. What is 2? So let us put this as 2. Using 1 in 2, what will you get? You will get A, A as 2 by 3B. So let's write 2 by 3B in, in place of A. So I am writing 2 by 3B, right? This A is replaced by 2 by 3B because of this. And then plus B is 90 degrees. 180 minus 90 is 90. So now that means taking LCM, you'll get 5 by 3B is equal to 90 degrees. So this implies B will be equal to 90 degrees into 3 by 5, isn't it? So hence, this is nothing but 72 degrees. I'm sorry, uh, 54 degrees. Okay, why? Because 5, this is 5. So 5, 18, so 54 degrees. Okay, the moment you got B, you can find A. Okay, now... Basically, you just wanted B. Why now only uh, B can help you finding C. Okay, now if you see in this figure, B plus C is again 180 degrees. Why? Linear pair. Okay, so you can write here, B plus C is 180 degrees. Why? You can again write linear pair. That means C is equal to 180 degrees minus B, which is equal to 180 degrees minus 50 4 degrees, which is nothing but 126 degrees. This is what is the value of C. So and what is the learning from this problem, guys? So the moment some information is given, you know uh, uh, what information was given, 90 degrees was given, and then A and B ratio was given, and lots of straight lines you could see. And you know that in a straight line, the total angle is 180 degrees, linear pair, right? So using that, uh, concept and the given information we could convert the problem into algebraic equations and we solved equations to form to find the given value
that was c in this case i hope you understood how to solve these kind of problems